Hey, 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 this is Miriam from Language Studio Euphema. And if you're watching this video, that probably means that you're also wondering what the difference is between until and by. Good, because in this video, you're gonna find out. I have to say that the main problem or the so-called stumbling block is that in English, we've got these two words until, for example, until Friday, and by Friday, with different meanings. However, in Slovak, we just use one word for both as the translation, which is DO. That's why for us Slovaks, that might be particularly difficult to differentiate between them and to choose the right option. Many people only know this word until as the translation of DO, and they use it universally for everything. Here are a couple of examples of the wrong use of until. I'll finish the work until 4 p.m., right? In Slovak, I want to say this, and there is the word DO, so automatically I put there until, but it's wrong. Another example, the meal must be ready until seven. Again, wrong use of until as a translation of do. Siedme. She will send us the materials until Wednesday. Or the meeting should be over until 9.30. All wrong. Now, if you take a dictionary and look up until you'll see that the translation will be DO. So then, what's the problem? Why isn't it correct? Well, just look at this and compare. Until. So, we use until to talk about how long a situation continues or will continue without a break, okay? For example, I stayed in bed until 10. That means that my staying in bed continued until 10 a.m. I didn't get out of bed before 10, so I stayed there until 10. Or, we'll be on holiday until Sunday. That means that we will stay in that holiday destination until Sunday. It will continue until Sunday, all right? And finally, I'll wait for you until lunchtime. So my waiting for you will continue until lunchtime. On the other hand, by means not later than a specific time. Let's see some examples again. I'll finish the work by 4 p.m. This means that I'll finish at 4 or before 4, but not later than 4. Or the meal must be ready by 7. By 7 indicates that the meal must be ready at 7, before 7, but not later than 7. She'll send us the materials by Wednesday. This means that she'll send us the materials on Wednesday or on Tuesday, Monday, okay, anytime before Wednesday, but not later than Wednesday. Now, a test if you have understood my explanations. First of all, until or by. Eva will be away. Mm? March. Until or by March? Until. Because her absence will continue until March, without a break. Eva will be back mm, March. Until or by March in this case? It's by. Because she will be back in March, maybe before. Maybe in February, I don't know, but definitely not later than March. 
I'll be shopping mm, 10. Until or by 10? It's until because my shopping will continue until 10 a.m. I'll go home mm, 10. By 10. I'll go home by 10. It means that I will leave the shopping mall and go home by 10. Not later than 10. Maybe before or at 10 exactly, but not later than 10 a.m. And here is another test. Translate the sentences. Prídem do polnoci. I'll be back by midnight. By... Because I'll be home at midnight, before midnight, but definitely not later than midnight. Daj mi vedieť do zajtra. Let me know by tomorrow. So I'm asking you to let me know by tomorrow. It is like some kind of deadline, okay? By tomorrow means that you can let me know later today. Or tomorrow, but not later than tomorrow. Not two days later. That will be too late for me. Lockdown bude trvať do januára. The lockdown will last until January. Until, because it will continue without a break. Until January, unfortunately. Terrific. I hope that you've learned the difference between until and by and that it's clear now. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this, subscribe to our Youth and My YouTube channel and support us. Thank you and be good.